biodiversity has been declining at an alarming rate in recent years. In a report published by IPES in 2019, scientists warned that one million species are threatened with extinction, many within decades. Some researchers believe we're in the middle of the sixth mass extinction. In order to bring awareness to biodiversity loss and its adverse impacts on our planet, the Global RCE Service Centre at the United Nations University Institute for the Advanced Study of Sustainability, UNUIAS, recently held the RCE Youth Biodiversity Art Challenge in partnership with UNESCO. Open to youth aged 35 or younger, the worldwide challenge put a spotlight on endangered species, habitats and ecosystems that need protection. As the Secretariat of Global RC Network, we are happy to witness and share the young people's perspectives on biodiversity issues using art as a universal form of expression. We hope to communicate their ideas with a wider audience in a very visual way on how we can all address the biodiversity conservation issues. Overall, 39 entries were received from 15 countries from participants under 15 up to 35 years of age. With artworks expressed through a range of mediums, including drawings, paintings, artifacts and photographs. Submissions in two categories, animals and plants and habitats and ecosystems, focused on SDG 14, life below water, and SDG 15, life on land. In the Animals and Plants category, this hand-embroidered piece by Elmi Emilia Yakil from RCE Penang in Malaysia was inspired by threats to sea turtles and received the Outstanding Artwork Award. Actions as simple as reducing our plastic consumption, practicing good fishery, participating in coastal cleanup, and saying no to turtle delicacies can protect and stop the decline of sea turtle and help these ancient mariners in the world oceans. An acknowledged artwork in the same category, representing two blue whales in a clean deep ocean, was created by Karina Sayu Uatani from Brazil using traditional watercolors and digital media. I believe that a way to protect and restore these endangered animals would be to preserve their habitats, keeping the oceans clean. I think communities can help by creating or organizing campaigns to clean beaches, since litter ends up being dragged into the water. It's a good way to empower and bring awareness to both children and adults. Aidan Chu from Singapore and Siti Noshahara Binti Sabarudin from Malaysia won honorable mention in the animals and plants category. Both their artworks focused on sea turtles, an endangered species. Sea turtles have existed over 100 million years. However, their greatest threat comes to humans, causing nearly all species of turtles to be considered endangered today. Education for conserving, conservation and preventing harm, further harm needs to start from our young people. To protect and restore these endangered species, I would like to suggest for us to first maintain the cleanliness on, uh, of the beach. Number two, prevent irresponsible parties from stealing and sailing to the east. And the last one, step up its security enforcement in coastal area where turtles may land. Ian Chu from Singapore and Chihiro Arakawa from Japan were also awarded honorable mention in the same category. Peace as they are the greatest pollinators impacting the biodiversity, I wanted my artwork to represent the contrast in the environment with bees and without them. Teaching children and the public to advocate for the coexistence with bees is vital for their survival. Participants also depicted their favorite places impacted by biodiversity loss and actions that communities can take to conserve these places. In the Habitats and Ecosystems category, this painting by Maxine Brandt-Fratta from Paraguay received the Outstanding Artwork Award. 
It was inspired by the Mbarakadu Nature Forest Reserve, one of the last primary forests standing in Paraguay. The Maracayu forest and the communities around it face many challenges, such as forest fires and dangerous illegal activities like marijuana cultivation and poaching. We can raise awareness to protect our natural, our natural resources and animals through rallies and digital campaigns. No starting a fire, no animals hunting, no trashing. This watercolor painting of a forest by Emily Dolan from the United States was recognized as an acknowledged artwork, as was this photograph by Bukuni Oyewole from Nigeria. This species is a rare sight these days. These species are going further and deeper into the oceans. Majorly because the water that they If our waters are kept clean and not polluted, it will be a more adequate home for our beneficiaries and also see more of these beneficiaries around. Gungun Chohan and Asif Ehemad Siddiqui from RCE Lucknow in India and Kase Piban Chichano from Japan won honorable mention in the habitats and ecosystems category. This painting is a collaborative work of me and my students aged three to four years old. This painting talks about the elements of the earth from the children's perspective. Green represents grass and trees. Blue is for water, which they often call this tone of blue Mizuiro in Japanese. Red and pink are the symbols of fire. Our ideas to protect the earth are simple yet practical. The RCE Youth Biodiversity Art Challenge was an opportunity for young people to share their perspectives on why it is crucial to protect the world's biodiversity and the actions that can be taken to address biodiversity conservation.